Hey guys, today I'm in Soho. I'm going to try out some bubble tea and I'm joined by the Amobo Award winning Rachel Kerr. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. Welcome to What's Up. I could be a big bad movie star. I got the pleasure of seeing you perform in Bush Hall a little while ago. I have to say, not only are you a stunning performer, but what a beautiful, beautiful voice yeah, you have. You. So what have you been up to of late? Uh, of late, it's been so busy. Um, I've recently released my EP, so all the promo around that, um, getting my EP, getting started has been crazy, but so enjoyable. Hold My Hand, which mm -hmm. is a fantastic Thank single, you. and again, just showcases the stunning voice that you have. Thank but you. also the songwriting is really important. How do you yeah. go about constructing your song? Just goes to show that inspiration comes in so many different forms. 3 o'clock in the morning, in the shower, mm. sitting down with you. There's so many different ways it comes to me. But yeah. when it does come, it's great to have that control over how it sounds as opposed yeah. to it being dictated to you. So it's great. To perform in some high places, you actually went to number 10 Downing Street, met Mr. David Cameron, yeah. Prime Minister, and you've also performed for Bill Clinton. So, did they get your autograph? <laughs> and what was that experience like? For me, in particular, um, Bill Clinton, when I when I was asked to sing for him, um, he had no reason to come and find me backstage and just speak to me, but he came, he literally came charging up to me with millions of, it felt like millions of security <laughs> behind him. And he what like, have I done? Right, exactly. <laughs> I, I was a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing a lot of female artists doing songs that empower young women mm. in particular. Is that something that is overly important to you? Because I was somebody who was quite bullied at school mm. and sometimes that can really kind of affect your self-esteem. Right. And it got to the point where I was like, you know what, if you don't accept me or you don't love me, I'm done with trying to please you. Mm. I will love myself. So thank you so much. Thank I reckon you should get involved in some of this bubble tea. Let go. Mm. <laughs> oh, I've got, got one of the bubble bits. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, <Ooh>. right? <laughs>